Hello legends and super legends. Welcome to Velo Harmony. Today I want to talk to you guys about the best nutrition for losing or maintaining your cycling weight. And in, like everything on this channel, it's common sense stuff. I don't believe in diets. I don't believe in fasting and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I've had people come to the channel and uh, one of the legends said, should I, should I fast? Should I fast when I ride? Or is it, you know, you can't drive a car with no gas in the tank. So look at, this, look at it that way. You want to work out, you need energy. You want to go to work, use your brain, you need energy. You eat your way into shape. So the best way I can put it is this way. Diets don't work. The reason diets don't work is a lot of them are not sustainable. But think about the word diet. What does that mean? Diet is whatever you eat. Everybody has a diet. A squirrel eats nuts and whatever else. A bird will eat worms or whatever. That's the diet. Whatever you eat. If you eat burgers, you eat carbs, you eat fruit, that's your diet. So let's get away from I'm going on a diet or I'm going to do this. No, just it's a lifestyle change. So for example, you need to eat things in as natural a form as possible. In these Western economies, the US and you know Europe, we have a lot of processed foods and that's where the problems are starting. Remember, think back to the day when our ancestors foraged for food. They walked all day long and they just picked berries or they, they killed a, 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 a antelope, a rabbit, whatever, and they ate wild game, but they used their bodies. Now we're sitting in cars, we're sitting in an office, we're sitting at home, watching the telly, whatever, and then we're packing all this rich food from the, the stuff that these guys prepare in these, you know, whether it's Hostess Twinkies or McDonald's burgers or all that kind of stuff that we have nowadays, as opposed to the foods in its natural form. So, you know, there are people here uh, on the chan on the YouTube that talk about, you know, there's a lot of vegan channels or whatever. I've tried that. It just didn't really work for me. What I eat is just common sense stuff. I eat mostly vegetables. So for example, let me see uh, if I got anything in here. And they're just easy to throw stuff to get together. So I'll show this for example. Hopefully this camera would, would, would do it justice. I've got some broccoli in here and I may just cut up some onions, cut up tomatoes, do a little stir fry, throw the bro broccoli in there cut up, dice up some smoked turkey, just dice it up in little pieces. In fact, uh, this is what we use. I decided to do this in the kitchen so you guys can actually see this. We get this smoked turkey from the store and I cut them up in little strips. Makes it easy to prepare. I keep them, they're cut up in little strips and they're frozen and they're smoked. And I'll add a little bit to some of the vegetables if I have a taste for that. Or sometimes I'll buy zucchini and squash, dice them up, onions, tomatoes, make my own gravy. I don't buy gravy. You can make your own gravy. I use a lot of vegetable oil, whether it's canola or whatever. You know, everything in moderation is good because the variety is what you're looking for. So for the most part, what I try to do is make sure that most of my meals are prepared at home so I can control what goes in there. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to eat everything at home. A lot of people are busy. But if you must eat out, like for example, I'll go to Chick-fil-A, I'll get stuff. I'll get the grilled chicken as opposed to the regular one because the regular one has more calories. So I'll get the grilled chicken and I'll get all the Asian salad or whatever, get the light dressing. It's those dressings and the other thing that we put on the, on the foods that make it rich in calories. So if you don't add a lot of dressing to your food or just cut it in half, don't use that much. Cut it in half, use a little bit, and then you will keep your calorie down and eat the food in its natural state. So for example, look over here. See, we got bananas hanging here. It's not quite ripe. We got cherries. Really good stuff. Most of you guys have that same stuff. Grapes. There's a banana getting ripe over there. I hope this camera is getting it really good. So I'm trying to, I'm using the GoPro for this. And I modified the settings to see how it would look. I took out the fish eye. This is the Hero 5 Black. Maybe I should do a review at some point for this camera because I'm getting to learn it. 
So, let me walk you around this kitchen here. See all these nuts we've accumulated. We got peanuts, trail mix, uh, looks like cashews, pecans, uh, almonds. I'm not sure what this is. It's got banana, dry bananas in there. These are beans that I prepare meals with. Um, raisins. Let me bring you over here. This pressure cooker, valuable. I cook. It, it speeds up the the cooking time. You put stuff in there, it's, it's prepared real quickly. You don't have to spend a lot of time. I only cook with gas, of course. Now, what I'm trying to get to is all the fruits that I showed over there. You can eat all the fruits you want, but unlike uh, my uh, buddy in the space, Durian Ryder, I don't eat 30 bananas a day. I eat a banana, a banana now and then because after a while I get sick of it. You know, now and then I'll eat a banana or I'll eat a bagel. You know, uh, my wife gets bagels from the store like blueberry uh, bagels. I'll eat one of those or I have peanut butter with it or whatever. What I'm trying to get to is I'm not depriving myself of what I am doing is I'm keeping the quantities down. I'm not eating five bagels for breakfast. I, I eat one bagel if I if I'm that if I'm very hungry, maybe I'll eat another one. I eat to where I'm satisfied, but I eat multiple meals a day, three to four meals a day, little meals. So I'm always keeping the log on the fire. Do not deprive yourself. If you fast, your body actually goes into starvation mode. You probably have heard that before. It will store the fat calories to keep you alive. It's, it's an organism that is designed to do that. So you can't defeat that. So when you fast, you're messing with your metabolism because your body will store food and slow it down. You basically run out of energy. You run on fumes. You can't function. You're tired all the time. So don't fast. Eat your way to the shape you want to be in. But the key to being in shape is to make sure that you burn more than you're putting in. Okay, you can't sit all week and just eat. Even if you eat the best foods, if you don't burn the calories, the body will store it as fat. So you have to be active. Take the stairs instead of the elevator. Get creative. Go for a walk instead of driving to the mailbox. I mean, we've got people in the neighborhood. We've got a community mailbox in certain neighborhoods around here. And people will drive their car to the community mailbox when they could just walk to it. You know, that, that's how dependent pe some people are on the car. So uh, I want to talk about when you go out to eat, when you order foods at the restaurant. Don't order a 12 ounce steak. Maybe go with the six or the eight and then have some vegetables and other things on the plate. Balance it off. Have, have some vegetables mixed in there. Um, I, I tried being a vegetarian at one point. And after a while, I just didn't really get into it. I wanted to eat chicken. I wanted to eat some turkey or whatever. So now I eat maybe 75, 80% vegetables and I eat fish. I love eating fish and I eat chicken and I eat turkey. I don't do a lot of beef just by choice. Every now and then, if I get a craving for it, I'll have a steak, a very good steak, but not a 12 ounce steak. The portions are important. Those of you who've been on a cruise, um, the portions on the cruise ships are so small that when I go on cruises, I actually end up losing weight because of all the activity I'm into. You know, you're snorkeling, you're walking around, whatever you do, and then you're eating all the time, all these little meals, and I end up coming back losing weight from the cruises. So because of all the consistent eating and then the small portions. So the key is that don't go without the wear you end up binging. Don't deprive yourself. Even when I, when I go to work, let me show you. I'm going to use my wife's bag because I've got one that's blue. This is like a picnic bag that we have. I have a blue one. This is my wife's. And it has partitions in there. We carry stuff. When I go on, on, I go to work on business. I pack my food, my snacks and whatever so I control what I eat. So I'm not at the mercy of the vending machines and so forth. Um, the reason I do that is because I don't want to go without, especially for those of you who ride in the afternoons after work, at least two hours before your workout, at least two hours, more is better, eat a decent meal. Now, 
the pyramid of your meals. Make breakfast and lunch bigger than dinner. Your, your pyramid should go like this. The opposite, reverse triangle. Turn the pyramid upside down. You want the larger meals early in the day. Dinner should be the smallest meal because you're not as active. That's the way you want to do that. That has worked and you will, you will lose weight as long as you, you're exercising consistently. So I wanted to cover that today to simplify because if all you look at in summary, all you want to focus on is go easy on the sauces. When you go out to eat, you don't know what's in there. That's where the hidden calories are. You know, go easy on them. Cut it in half. Don't go cold turkey. Continue to reduce that so you get to taste the food. I mean, I love having a salmon or something with nothing on it and get the taste of that fish. Maybe just sprinkle a little bit of salt. Sometimes they prepare it with just salt. That's all. You know, my wife always says, why don't you put this on there? No, I don't want anything on there. I want to taste this fish. You know, or steam the broccoli or you get rice pilaf or whatever. The food's out there. The, the challenge is that we put a lot of rich condiments on the foods. I mean, if I, when I sit next to my wife and she's eating a salad, it looks, when she gets ranch, it looks like it's snowing on the salad. Whereas my salad, you see nothing but green. And I eat the greens and you get the flavor, you get a feel for that. And, and I always tease her about that because she puts too much on there. And everybody's different. But those are the little things that you can cut back on that will really reduce the calories you're taking in. But the key is that you must use your body consistently. You want to start with at least three days a week of, of exercise and build it up to five or six. You don't have to work out hard. Work out frequently, consistently. That's what gets you in shape. Go steady, go long if you can. If you don't have the time, that's fine. Whatever time you have, you don't have to kill yourself. Sit on the trainer, spin, watch the news, watch your favorite programs. Or, you know, some of you guys have Zwift. Get on there. Don't always go hard. You know, so I wanted to cover that today because the diet thing is hard to keep up because you're trying to make a drastic change and sometimes it's not sustainable. You want to make minor changes to where it becomes a part of your life by removing the high calorie stuff and all the processed stuff. And when you, you know, you, you can eat out all the time. You have to just make better choices. You can't eat uh, McDonald's burgers every day, three days, three times a day and expect to be healthy. Every now and then, if you want to do that, that's okay. Don't deprive yourself, but that's not the food to live on. You know, there was a guy, uh, uh, a show that I watched called Chun, the master of Sinunju. He said, fast food speeds you to the grave. You know, for those of you who follow the Destroyer series. But I, I wanted to mention that because I felt like I needed to add this since I've been talking about, you know, uh, the cadences and losing weight and so forth. Is I wanted to specify that you're not going to lose weight by not eating. You're going to lose weight by eating consistently, eating reasonable calorie meals, and exercising and burning more than you're putting in. But do not deprive yourself. You need energy for everything you do, not just exercise. So with that, get out there, get your miles in.